Picture this rocket soaring high on a mission to scribble history in the infinite canvas of the cosmos. Now imagine that rocket stalling, nose diving, and smashing into the Earth, setting its dreams and hopes on fire. Welcome to the world of Virgin Galactic, where grand dreams crash and burn just as spectacularly as they are dreamed up. They're teetering on the edge of oblivion, hurtling towards bankruptcy with the speed of a plummeting spacecraft. And you're probably wondering, what the hell happened? Today, we're shining a spotlight on Virgin Galactic, peeling away the gloss and digging into the murky depths. We're exposing the grim realities of a company caught in the vicious spiral of setbacks, including financial problems, design flaws, regulatory hurdles, and more. And trust me, it ain't a pretty sight. But hey, life ain't all doom and gloom, and neither is this video. We're also tossing in a chance for you to win a cool 100 bucks. To participate, you must stick around till the end. Comment, smash that like button, and subscribe if you haven't already. Virgin Galactic is a private space tourism company established by billionaire entrepreneur Richard Branson. Branson registered the business name Virgin Galactic in 1999, but gained significant attention in the early 2000s when the company started advertising space flights, with prices starting at $200,000 in 2004. As of today, nearly two decades later, the ticket price has increased to $450,000, and the company claims to have sold around 800 tickets. However, Virgin Galactic has faced challenges in fulfilling its promises and making substantial progress in its space tourism ventures. Branson initially predicted that Virgin Galactic would begin flying customers into space as early as 2007. However, the company has faced numerous development challenges over the years. In 2007, a fatal explosion occurred during a ground test, which was a significant setback for the project. Then, in October 2014, a tragic test flight crash occurred, further contributing to delays and eroding the trust of potential customers. But that's not all, though. The company also faces financial distress as it stares down the barrel of bankruptcy. As the only publicly traded space tourism company in the market, Virgin Galactic has experienced a 28% decline in its stock value since the start of 2022. A significant portion of this loss occurred after the company announced plans to raise $500 million in debt, raising concerns among investors about the company's financial stability. Virgin Galactic intends to issue $425 million or more of convertible senior notes in a private offering. Convertible notes are a type of debt that can be converted into a predefined amount of equity, and they are commonly used as a fundraising tool by both startups and established companies. However, this approach carries the downside of an increased risk of bankruptcy, as excessive debt could burden the company's financial health. Investors have perceived the move to raise debt as an indication of potential cash constraints for the company. As a result, the company's shares are currently trading at $3.77, which is below their initial offering price in October 2019 and significantly lower than their all-time high of $62.80 in early 2021. Many of the company's financial problems stem from a lack of commercial flights that have been constantly delayed due to development issues. Virgin Galactic has faced significant challenges and setbacks in the development of its spacecraft, particularly with its leading craft, the Spaceship One, and its variant, the Spaceship Two. These spacecraft are different from capsules like Blue Origin's New Shepard or SpaceX's Crew Dragon, as they rely more on human factors, and human pilots are necessary for testing and operations. The reliance on human pilots introduces inherent risks, as safety-critical mechanisms are involved, and it is impossible to conduct certain tests without having humans on board. Similar to a helicopter, where large moving parts are relied upon to ensure safety, this adds a higher level of risk to the mission. While this doesn't necessarily mean that Virgin Galactic spacecraft are unsafe, it emphasizes the importance of considering the capacity for human error and the inherent risks associated with the design and operation of their vehicles. The tragic crash of Virgin Galactic's Spaceship 2 Enterprise on October 31st, 2014, was a result of human error during a rocket-powered phase of the test flight. The incident led to the loss of co-pilot Michael Alsbury's life and caused injuries to pilot Peter Siebold. 
An investigation conducted by the National Transportation Safety Board, NTSB, determined that the accident occurred because the feathering re-entry system deployed too early, an error made by Allsbury. The aerospace company Scaled Composites, responsible for building the spacecraft, also played a role in the accident by not adequately considering and safeguarding against the possibility that a single human error could lead to a catastrophic hazard for the Spaceship 2 vehicle. According to the NTSB investigation, the accident occurred when co-pilot Michael Allsbury unlocked Spaceship 2's unique tail boom feather system too early. The spacecraft was flying at Mach 0.8 instead of the required Mach 1.4, according to the original flight plan. The unique feather system of Spaceship 2 is designed to rotate the craft's twin tail booms upward, providing stability during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere at the end of a flight. During the rocket motor's firing phase, boost phase, the feather system is locked to secure the tail booms for flight. When co-pilot Michael Allsbury unlocked the feathering system prematurely, the turbulence from Spaceship 2's transonic flight overwhelmed the tail boom's securing mechanism, resulting in the destruction of the vehicle. The tragic accident has raised concerns and revived doubts about the risks associated with space tourism and whether paying customers fully comprehend the dangers involved in participating in an industry still in its infancy. Unlike other modes of transportation, space tourism vehicles currently do not require independent safety certification before carrying paying passengers. This lack of stringent regulation has added to the skepticism surrounding the safety standards of these vehicles and the level of risk they pose to passengers. For now, aspiring space travelers seem okay with that. But is the fledgling industry playing a dangerous game? How high exactly is the risk of dying during a space mission? According to Phil McAllister, director of commercial spaceflight for NASA, riding on commercial spacecraft like Virgin Galactic's Spaceship 2 is estimated to be approximately three times safer than riding on NASA's space shuttle during its final years of operation. During this period, shuttle flights were considered to be at their safest due to improvements in inspections and heightened safety awareness. Terry Hamlin, the technical lead of Space Shuttle Probabilistic Risk Assessment at NASA's Johnson Space Center, revealed that in the early days of the Space Shuttle program, the risk of a space shuttle flight ending in disaster was approximately one in nine flights, which was a concerning statistic. However, by the time the space shuttle fleet retired in 2011, after experiencing two catastrophic accidents, the risk had significantly improved to about one in 90 flights. Based on Phil McAllister's estimation that commercial spacecraft rides are approximately three times safer than the final years of the space shuttle program, the probability of a catastrophic failure on a Virgin Galactic flight is estimated to be around 1 in 300. Despite these improved statistics, many experts caution that the space tourism industry may be facing unprecedented challenges that could potentially increase the odds of accidents involving aspiring space tourists. The current space tourism industry faces significant challenges when it comes to safety regulation and certification. Unlike other industries, space tourism lacks government safety regulations and independent certifications for the safety of its technology. For most consumer products, they must undergo rigorous testing and obtain certifications from independent bodies to ensure that their designs meet established safety standards before entering the market. However, a U.S. Congress moratorium on safety regulations established in 2004 exempts space tourism companies from such oversight, leaving them less accountable in terms of safety. At present, the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, mandates that commercial space companies demonstrate that their operations do not pose a risk to the public on the ground or in the airspace. However, the FAA has no authority over the safety of the flight participants themselves, nor does it certify the launch and entry vehicles as safe for human passengers. Intense competition in the emerging space tourism market poses a significant challenge for Virgin Galactic. Several other prominent companies, such as SpaceX and Blue Origin, are also competing to offer suborbital space flights to paying customers. To succeed in this highly competitive landscape, Virgin Galactic must find ways to set itself apart from its rivals and attract customers to its service. Blue Origin, under Jeff Bezos's leadership, 
offers suborbital space flights to customers using their reusable rocket capsule combo known as New Shepard. They have successfully conducted six crewed space missions. However, their space flight operations have been on hold since September 2022, when New Shepard encountered an anomaly during an uncrewed research flight. On the other hand, SpaceX, led by Elon Musk, has a different focus. They are currently working on refining their designs for the Starship, which is anticipated to be the largest commercial spacecraft ever built. The Starship's objectives go beyond just taking tourists into orbit. It is designed to offer an opportunity for select individuals to become pioneers in the first wave of colonizers to settle on Mars. Virgin Galactic finds itself in a prominent position in the space tourism industry. While Blue Origin is still striving to achieve significant success and SpaceX is concentrating on more ambitious projects, Virgin Galactic stands as the sole active company at present that offers a reliable option for ordinary individuals to experience space travel, provided they have the financial means. Only time will tell if the company will be able to successfully leverage this position and become a success. What do you think? Can Virgin Galactic turn things around and become a leader in space tourism? Please let us know in the comments below.